What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Um, we are about to get into So Real Tea. Regine addresses G5 date rumors. Let's get it. What is up, So Real Gang? How we doing today? Let's get into the video. Regine Carter tweeted, Single, y'all. Let's get this real straight. Been single. Love a shopping spree, though. Yeah. I got me a boo. And here's my advice to everybody. Date until you find the one. Yeah. We young. We got all the time. You got no kids? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do that. Y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all got from that. Because what I got from it is she's basically saying that she is single and her and G5 are not dating. Even though a while back, Regine stated that that was her man. Even G5 said that he played and she left. And then she stated, been single. So is she saying that she been single since her last relationship and her and g5 are just casually dating mm, i don't know y'all because she even stated she loves a shopping spree though if you guys remember i think they like to say shit to get the t-pages talking the other day g5 and regine carter were spotted out on the strip so I'm, I'm guessing she's stating that he took her on a shopping spree and that's why they were together which she loves i mean any woman would love a shopping spree right but i don't know if i'm going on a shopping spree with a man that was just on vacation with his ex and was just in the comments stating that that's his real girlfriend and then came back and gave me an apology online and now i'm coming to twitter stating that i'm single and i've been single mm. Now that I think about it, after all of that, I don't blame her for going on a shopping spree and spending his money. Like, you played, right? And now you pay, right? Shit. I don't know, guys. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Because I'm a girl myself. My feelings would have been hurt from that. So, I'm not sure. Because for a few months now... I would have took the, the, the shopping spree, too. Now, we've been reporting about Regine Carter and G5 messing around exclusively. And now she's coming on Twitter and she's stating that she's single and that she's been single. Well, I guess that clears up the rumors of her jumping into another relationship right out of the one that she just got out of. I guess, you know, people can kill that story since she's stating she's been single and she's still single. So I'm guessing her and G5 are casually dating and haven't made anything official yet. So you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Let's get into Ty Taylor. For a while now, it's been reported that Ty may be pregnant, okay. but for some reason, she kept denying those allegations. And after those allegations keep getting denied, for some reason, every time her sister posts a video on YouTube, her belly's being exposed. The other day, Ty had took the Snapchat and stated that she had five fibroids, which can appear as a pregnancy. Well, guys, today, the Tea Room posted another picture of Ty from her sister's YouTube video, which has since then been deleted. But they were able to catch a picture of Ty pregnant belly. Someone even sent her a snippet of that video and you can see Ty belly clear as day. Now guys, if you remember my last video that I did about Ty, I stated when I was pregnant, that's the only time I heard I had fibroids. Even her actions lately, she hasn't been showing herself. She hasn't been showing her belly. For those of you that has been keeping up with Ty, you guys know she loves to post a video. You know, she loves to get dressed and she just love social media so the, for the fact the past couple months she's just been showing nothing but face it got me questioning even though ty is coming out and she's saying out of her own mouth that she may not be pregnant maybe she's saying that because she doesn't know how to tell her supporters yet so you comment down below and let me or maybe it's just none of our business yeah i forgot ty was a damn leo girl she on <laughs> it ain't none of our business I just wouldn't have been around Daisha. Not done expose me twice. You know what you think. Do you think Ty is officially pregnant and just don't want to tell the world yet? Or do you think those fibroids have her belly looking like she's pregnant? It would just be weird if she comes out and says she's pregnant after saying it's just fibroids. And, and fibroids that can definitely do that. Experiencing two different cultures is definitely true. When I was in Rhode Island, yeah, I never like race and stuff never played a part in anything. Nobody cared about if you was any type of race, any color. Out here, down south, is the only time that I ever saw people start using, oh, you're Spanish, why do you wanna be with somebody who's black? You should not be with a black man, you should be with a Spanish man. Um, why do you wanna have black baby? Like, that's the only time I ever started seeing that shit. I'm like, what the hell? But y'all can say what y'all want. 
No, I'm being really real. That's not prejudice at all. It's an experience that I've been experiencing since I've lived here in Houston, actually. That's a fact. I love everybody. I've never saw race as a problem. But a lot of people out here, they don't like certain people just because of the color of their skin. That's a fact. Somebody tried to tell me the other day that um, I was talking about, basically, I didn't like the outfits on the dark skin women or men uh at the BET awards as i was speaking about everybody akon shoes looked like he was about to go to chipotle that wasn't a lie but remy ma slayed to the gods flo millie slayed to uh the gods and sexy red can never do no wrong even though she had chili peppers on her um beauty supply store outfit it's fine I, sexy red can do no wrong okay i just don't understand why everybody was on my meat like i said something wrong you ain't see akon shoot don't worry don't worry about it don't worry about it i i, I i'll get them to you i'll get them to you I'm, I'm gonna make sure we see these shoes because they tried it and i was like what i like what what does that even mean what does that even mean uh, let me see. The niggas who had on all white. All white. Summer too hot. Now, everybody fine. And then you get the Akon. What are those? What are those? What are those? You see what I'm saying? What are these right there? What are those? I got to be colorist because I don't like them stupid ass shoes. Ah! Them shoes pissed me off. Do you understand what I'm saying? Pissed me off. And I mean, like I said, Flo Millie, amazing. And I also said the skin was skinning. And the woman y'all just seen walking in my background is dark skin. And so is my daughter. What are you talking about? Slade. Girl, that son was looking good on that melanin. You understand what I'm saying? What are we talking about? Now, my sexy red, she can do no wrong. But these are chili peppers on her beauty supply store outfit. And I'm saying beauty supply store because uh, sexy red like the beauty supply store. She says she liked to shop at the beauty supply store. That's why I say that. But she got chili peppers on her outfit. But she can do no wrong and she's beautiful and she had a time. And she always is a time. So what the fuck are we talking about? That pissed me off. <sighs> so anyhow. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm knowing this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.